Another method in data fitting is interpolation. This is a procedure which takes into consideration the points in a given data set. Watch more about it in Numerical Solutions to CE Problems. Let's get back to the general topic of data fitting. In instances where the data points in a set forms scatter plots, and a line or a curve will only be taking the mean values of such nodes, data fitting is necessary to reduce the error. The first method of curve fitting is regression. In cases when one is given a number of points in a table and he has to find the function, regression is used. More often, the curve or the line will take the mean and does not actually intersect all the points in the set. The next method is interpolation. This procedure is somehow more accurate in drawing out the trend as it will be passing through all the points. Another difference of this procedure is one does not need to have so many points to draw out the function. Last method is Fourier series, whereby the data points create a periodic curve similar to a sine wave or any other forms which would seem to have repeated characteristics. In this video series, discussions will be about interpolation. Getting to the nitty-gritty of the subject. With a set of x and y values set in a table and drawing the graph of such values, points would be passed through interpolation. If in a case of two points given, they will be connected by a line, and in case of more points, a curve can be used to connect the nodes. From the previous science or math discussions, interpolation has already been defined as identifying a point within a line or a curve. With the two images, if we denote the left point as x0 and the last point as xn, we can have interpolation to get the value of xA. In contrast, identifying a point out of the range of the line or curve is identified as extrapolation. Mathematically, interpolation for xA is true if xA is between x0 and xn. On the other hand, extrapolation takes place when xB is less than x0 or if it is more than xn. The first type of interpolation has already been introduced in as early as primary education. This is linear interpolation. This includes two points, and in most cases, another node within the range is to be determined. The method incorporates geometry with the rule of similarities to have the value desired. Another type of interpolation is polynomial interpolation. With a few given points, a curve or a line is drawn out strictly passing each point, and this is called the interpolating curve. Every point is considered an interpolation point or interpolation node, and the function, which would be a polynomial by the way, is called the interpolating polynomial. A third type of interpolation is the spline interpolation, which would be different with polynomial interpolation as it requires a more special type of curve known as the spline. The video series will be limited to polynomial interpolation method. Numerical solutions to polynomial interpolations are possible through van der Mond matrix in monomial basis. However, in the course, we deal more on approximations. The different methods on approximating polynomial interpolation are Newton's divided difference formula, Lagrange interpolation formula, Gregory-Newton interpolation formula, forward-Newton-Gauss interpolation formula, and Stirling's interpolation formula. Mm -hmm.